The gas lamp announced on Facebook last night that this summer they'll be closing their doors for good, putting an end to live music in the Butler building. Some might say it was the Tuesday rain that turned out the lights inside the gas lamp. In a Facebook post, the gas lamp says a small music venue is not part of their landlord's revitalization plan and will close the curtain on July 9th of this year. Gas lamp that uh, blues on grand legacy goes back so far that uh, I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed in its ending. Des Moines musicians like Todd Mason have played the gas lamp dozens of times after it opened in 2011, formerly known as Blues on Grand and the Grand Avenue Lounge. Well, I'm going to miss uh, just the uh, vibe there because there, there, so many great people would come and see us all the time. If you play music in Des Moines, you've played at Gaslamp. If you attend live music, you've been to Gaslamp. Des Moines Music Coalition Executive Director Mickey Davis says the Gas Lamp was a perfect place for new, lesser known musicians to build a following. Without it, Davis fears the city's next generation of artists could struggle to find footing in Des Moines' live music scene. But there just need to be a lot of different venues of that size that are all doing different things that can help bands you know, start to attract 50 and then 100 and then 150 people before they start to play venues like Woolies or Valor Ballroom or some of these larger venues. In Des Moines, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.